Hi, welcome. This is the series of tutorials where we'll be working on head modeling or as creating a base human head which can be used later words to create different variations. But we'll first learn how to create the basic right profile human head, then adapt that head model to different styles and different structures of the face. Let's check out some. This is the basic some of the measures which I will here. I'll just change it to some normal number to show the see can you see I'm looking at the hats. See. These are different hats. But every head, if you check here follows the same principle so first we'll learn to create the basic head or follow the basic topology which creates the head model and then later works in the next couple of other tutorials which are linked with this basic tutorial I'll show you how to create a different range of characters and it's not just a human head it can be adapted to dragons or and any other things I will show you gradually okay now let's first I'll say file new don't serve and if you check I, I just downloaded some of the images uh, let's check here this is a good example this, she's wonderful actress and you can use her as a reference and I downloaded one more this image uh, this character this is some if you search for Cassie head reference I will, I'm very very much thankful for this guy he's an outstanding amazing profile to create different range of variation of characters I like this and we can work on this thing this is also one of the wonderful characters which I checked into this is one of the other characters a lot of people will be eager to work on this model Okay, I'll just close this thing. There are a lot of things. Let's take this one. How to model this head? But we'll we had to first create the basic shape. So how to do it? I'll show you. And this is Cassie. Where is it, Mr. Cassie? Let's find it. Yeah, it's not here. Okay. How to work on it? First thing, we need a profile graph. A lot of people follow view image plan, but generally I don't use that profile. I'll go to the front view, create a polygon plane. Right. Come back to the front perspective view. Right click, assign favorite material Lambert, and in color, click on checker box, go to file, get that file. It's in my okay, wherever you can download it. Just I downloaded this in images, Mr. Cassie. And the shortcut key to the C, the texture is 6. So when you get this thing, don't scale it, nothing will happen. You need to go to the properties channel attribute, leave from channel attribute to channel box. If you check here, follow plan. I want to increase the height okay. switch on height activate the height move your mouse cursor into the viewport with the middle mouse button and increase it. right now that's good. but if you check here this is this is what I got okay if it Let's open the same file. File open, Mr. Cassie. Where are you? T images, Mr. Cassie. Let's see the image size. It's 1816 into 800. Okay. So if you come back here. 18 and this is what I have 
but right now it's, it's just because I'm using a laptop and the screen aspect ratio is 1 is to 1 but whereas the image aspect ratio is different so I'll just scale it this is not the right procedure you need to follow <laughs> different steps and also but I'm just scaling it or else you have to calculate the image aspect ratio I'm happy with it I'll switch up to it I like this one once it is done Ctrl D and rotated it a 90 degrees in Y axis so if you come to the side you press 6 it's very important that your character should see towards the Z axis okay always this axis not like this okay see that it faces towards Z axis now go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool add two loops delete it delete it now I got this one the same thing what I do for the front view add one loop so I got don't try to move it in like this see that everything is is aligned perfectly now select this one if you switch on I'll just okay if you check here I selected this axis then move zoom in here with the middle move button is the center now here I like this one now what I do in the top view see that always this image is on the left side of the screen and this one back so you got this image you can push it down I push it always because we start modeling with the mouth as a basic so we just I just move selected both and move it delete the history freeze the transformations I'll this uh, as side profile okay. this is Select both objects, click on this icon so that it will create a new layer and assign the selected objects, template and reference. So we'll change it to reference and double click this one, change this to reference, layer. Now you need to save it always. I'll say level. Zero 01 because I'm starting now. You should give the name and level one. It's always good for you. Now the next step is that I'll be working on the side. If I start working on it, it's too dark. So I'll just go to shading, X-ray. So it's transparent. The same thing in front view. X-ray. What I will just select both objects. I'll move a little bit up. Now let's start modeling. Sorry. In polygons, go to mesh, create polygon tool. Please listen. Very clear, I'm telling you. If you follow these principles, you will get a perfect shape or perfect profile color. Zoom towards mouth. Click here for the first dot or first vertex. Second, third, and fourth. That is, I'll treat this as zero, one, two, three. Okay? Before the start of the nose. Okay? And four. So I want this is zero, one, two, 
3 and fourth is at the start of the mouse then you can start continue don't add too many points random because we'll adjust it we'll add more can you see here I'm just stretching it down here also what I do is just don't click under never ever click under just click on backspace click on here I'll click a couple of more points here and I just randomly click a couple of points now we'll work on it this is a basic shape that's right point zero this is one two and three before the start of the nose so three points between the mouth point and the nose three points the same way one two and three okay one two and three this is always zero i'm telling you clearly clearly please if you follow this thing you will see the results instantly so the thing is that this is always a zero point and three points here and three points here before the start of the chin before the start of the nose and don't add so many points limited points we can add later words now come back here to the perspective I'll switch off my image here go to the edge mode double click it extrude it pull it out once you pull it out you don't need this thing so go to face backspace, backspace face. so I got just the outline now go back zoom in towards the mouth now select these three edges okay three edges of the upper lips three edges at the bottom can you see now come back to the front view extra pull it out okay once you pull it out in front view come back to the side view and move it back this point I'll switch it on my surface can you see here now scale it straight scale it down okay here also I'll just come back here can you see now? what I did I selected the three edges top three edges bottom extruded in front view later words move it back scale it straight and scale it in y axis straight now select the top three points rotate it downwards select the bottom three points rotate it upwards now i'll just tweak these points a little bit a little bit of tweaking is needed okay now now go to edge mode here we got one tool called in edit mesh append polygon tool so click on this tool click on this edge once you'll get some orange uh, purple pink or something then click back on this edge and so you can see it's going to all the way to like it. the same way go to app and tool click on this edge and this edge I just move this point a bit now if you see here go to edge select all these three edges newly formed three edges come back to the front view they are in straight line push it out now 
deselect I would now select the last two edges pull it out deselect one push it so we have widely gradually opened the edges now I'll switch out this one can you see here this is an open so we have to fill it so go to edge double click on this try mesh fill hole so it's fill now the next step is go to edit mesh insert edge loop to add one loop here scale it in y axis and gradually tumble your viewport like this so that you can see a little bit of a top top angle and push it forward okay now one more Let's get a little bit back tumble your viewport forward right now one more step go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool add a loop here go to face select all the spaces backspace if you want to test it press 3 you should get something like this edit delete type by history Control D for duplicate. Let's see how it looks. Minus one. Minus. I'll apply a bit darker color on that. Okay, I'll switch on. So that is step one. So we have created the basic shape of a mount as well as the head. So in the next tutorial, we'll extend it, try to work on the eyes and other parts. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye. See you.